I was accessorizing. I was planning on I stalked him for 15 years and now he's my husband. Fuck, see? And I'm basically building Santorini in Brisbane. We've got massive, exciting changes for 2020. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing a catch up on just our general lives and we posted something I don't even know what to say. Oh fuck! Wait, do we need the aircon on? I'm very hot. <laughs> general Q&A on some questions, answering some questions that you guys want to know. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, we posted a- I can't- <laughs> Few moments later. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we're actually doing a life update, so what we've been up to, and we posted a um, questionnaire. <laughs> Fuck! See? We asked everyone what you wanted to know about our lives, so we have a bunch of questions that we've grouped together into like topics. So we'll go through and answer them as best as we can. Sorry if it's a bit long, um, but we'll try and get through them all now. Okay, so our main topics for today are babies, health, sabo, houses, life in general, married life for this, IVF, and the stress reduction. Which is in the distant future. Yeah. I wish it was tomorrow, but it ain't. <laughs> All right, so shall we just delve into yeah. a baby update? So we got a lot of questions, just wanting to know general updates on Connor and Zani. So yeah. their age and interests and that kind of thing. Shall we go first? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Connor is almost two, he's 22 months old. Um, he is just entering that stage where he wants to do everything by himself, which is really fun. <laughs> it's not fun. It's like, <laughs> everything takes an hour. Just to walk down the stairs can take 20 minutes, but, um, I love that for you. Uh, yeah, but it's also like good because he's starting to do things by himself a lot more, which is great. Um, he's currently obsessed with dinosaurs. I thought that was a while away, but no. Um, and obsessed. he can say all their names. He can say all their names. It's very funny. Um, he's obsessed with Zani, Diana, aka Des, and his other aunties, his cousins, he's just obsessed with everything really. Mm. He's a typical two year old. He's so cute. Okay, so Zani, um, her hair is still really wild. Um, I have a lot of people asking me what colour her eyes are. They're a dark green, so they're like an olive. Mm. Um, that she loves accessories. She loves accessorizing. She just loves bags and sunnies and like shoes, socks, hats, scrunchies. scrunchies. I think I'm gonna get her ears pierced, um, but I really, I left that way too late. Probably gonna fuck myself up. She's gonna like pull it out. I'm gonna have to deal with that, but we'll see. Um, she's starting to talk and she's walking and she may or may not be saying shit. Um, she says lots of words. Yeah. And yeah, she's obsessed with, obsessed with me at the moment, so I'm loving a lot. I'm the flavor of the week. <laughs> 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 okay, so we had heaps of questions about, um, if we have any traveling tips since our trip to Greece with the babies. Don't do it. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It's pretty bad. It's just, you kind of have to reset your mindset into thinking like this trip is for the child. And this trip is not for its you. usual routine. Yeah. Throw your routine out the window. My baby was going to bed at midnight. She goes to bed at seven o'clock here. She was going to bed at midnight there. It was just, but it was whatever, quite, whatever, whatever goes. Following the sun though, because like the sun set at nine. I don't know, she was going to bed at 12. Yeah, it's fine. It was just, you know, Greek time. We're, we're in Greece, there are no rules. She was a bit wild, it was great. Um, and I think if you have a kid, like a child who is still in a napping stage, you like kind of need to preempt napping situations for every yeah. single day. And my biggest recommendation is if you do have a napping child, like two, three naps a day, Book accommodation near the beach or like near where you want to be because one of you can stay in your hotel and the other one can go out. But if you're like ages away, you have to, you can't go anywhere. So if you're just like the beaches at your doorstep, you can go out. That was a massive one that saved us. Connor had quite a few naps on the beach though, which was great. So we tried that. It was very it was unsuccessful. Under, under the cabana and oh. I was just like so jealous. <laughs> they gave me like an hour and a half of just... Me. 
Um, Good for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And maybe like try and get your kid like accustomed to some fruits and veggies that you'll they'll be eating on the trip. If that makes sense. If it's a different kind of completely different climate, because otherwise they'll go on strike. Mm -hmm. Luckily, Greece was like quite similar, so we were lucky. Right. Um, we also got quite a few questions about traveling with babies. So since our trip from Greece, what we learned. Um, but we had we have so much information. We're gonna do a separate video on that yeah. so we'll give we you saw your questions we're not ignoring them we're gonna do a whole nother video all right okay so next sub category is um pregnancy so i'm just gonna give a little update on my second pregnancy and this will give an update on her current situation um so i was planning on trying to fall pregnant after our greece trip for Dessa's wedding and when I got back, my periods are irregular anyway, but I got back and I was waiting for them to get themselves mm -hmm. sorted Regularly. so I could start my hormone treatment, but uh, it just never came. <laughs> this was like, maybe you're pregnant, which I just didn't think was possible. And turns out I was. Yes, you were. So I found out like a bit later than I did with Connor. I found out at three and a half weeks with Connor. This time it was six and a half weeks. Um, so this one's gone much quicker. Mm, this has gone really quick. Like, I can't believe it just happened by itself. And you're just as small as last time. I know, I don't think I'm just as small. Yeah, but I think you're smaller. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're a joke! <laughs> you're a joke, sweetheart. <laughs> um, did I have morning sickness? Yes, I had... I had... So with Connor, I had vomiting scheduled in at 10am every day, and then my day would just be fine after that. This time I had less vomiting, which was great, but I had nausea like all day. That's what I had. Which is what Des had last time. I think both options are not for me. No. But you just have to do it. Um, I've had, unfortunately, a lot more migraines this time, which are... <laughs> They're life ruiners. They're life ruiners. They're ruining lives. They're ruining lives, making me like angry gal because I'm so tired and sore all the time but um other than that I can't really complain oh and everyone's asking if my uterus is still backwards no it's not it flips forward it's about what how many weeks um I think it's like 12 weeks something like that I'm currently 20 weeks I just had a scan the doctor said this baby is very active which I know because I can feel it beating me all the time and that's all I've got for you. And no, I don't know the gender yet. Everyone's asking that too. Um, but I think I think it's a boy, but I sort of want a girl so Zani has a little mate. No, I've literally got no idea. Like, I can't tell. I think boy. Want a girl. That's, all, boy. that's all I've got for you. Okay, so my current um, pregnancy status is not pregnant, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I have been trying, I've been doing hormone um, with IVF and doing transfers, so not the full round of IVF, just like the end, the end part where I have like embryos that I can use. Um, I've just run out of embryos, um, so we might explore IVF in the new year if we need to. Um, not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to if I need to do it. Um, documenting it all and like sharing my experience because I didn't share it last time I was too scared and didn't know if I'd get a positive outcome and it was just way too like emotional but this time I feel like I've got Zani and I feel like strong enough mentally to mm. if I need to do it um help other people with that and document the whole journey with all the needles and the crazy hormones um, which leads me into one of our next questions, how's married life? Mm -hmm. My married life is um, sort of struggling at the moment because I'm so hormonal. <laughs> it's not your fault, sweetheart. I'm just so angry all the time. And I, like poor Giorgio, he, he will just blink and I'll be like, what the fuck are you doing? Pregnancy hormones are really hard to explain. They're and like, I'm on like fake pregnancy hormones. Yes, yeah, this is pregnancy. This is a normal pregnancy. She's on like... I'm on progesterone, which makes you very angry. So anything that happens, although I don't project any anger towards Zani, like nothing Zani does. I feel like it's angry. no one else. Really. It's just Giorgio. He's really annoying, especially with his 
dirty moustache and just like it's for a good cause. Fuck off. Oh. Like, I hate you at the moment. Um, hopefully that will pass so soon. It'll pass. It passed last time. Mm. But that's something that people don't like. They go into IVF and they have no idea about this. So I think yeah, I'll uh, if you have yeah. to do it again, documenting would be good because yeah, a lot of questions and yeah. people have like like you had no idea the first time either. This is correct. Um, so if I need to, I will document yeah. that. But yeah. Married life is really good, except for the hormonal um, mood swings on my behalf. Have you noticed like a difference from before your grease wedding and now taking out the hormones? Do you feel any difference? Um, I feel like, yeah. Um, sure, he's my husband sort of thing. Yes, I can't believe he's my husband. It's just really weird that I stalked him for 15 <laughs> years and now he's my husband. <laughs> Persistence is key. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's really good. Gorgeous. And we bought a house together and it just feels like it's all coming together. Where's your house? Oh, it's just like, I have the worst neighbors. Like they just have sex on the balcony all the time. And like, I mean, you do have two neighbors. I'm definitely not talking about me. I, aren't I? No. Well, I could be. Well, I don't actually know if they have a lot of sex on the balcony yet because I, have, I don't live there yet. Right. I can see like, I can see so I'm I'm a lot more snappy this time being pregnant. Usually I'm like a very this is usually me. Monotone. I'm like a very Is that the word? Um placid. Placid. Person. And it takes a lot to like frustrate me or irritate me and I'm very irritable this time and I feel bad when like George will just do something and I'll mm, and I can see his face consciously register that it looks like this. And it's like, <laughs> I can see into his brain thinking, I'm just going to let that slide. I'm just going to let that go. You're pregnant and that's not really you. Mm. That's literally the, um, the main update. And since we've moved into our new house, it's obviously a lot bigger than our little unit that we are living in before. It's a lot more work, get ready for that. It is. Poor stairs. <laughs> walking. So talking about the house, I had a lot of questions about house update, Am I renovating or building blah, blah, blah. So, and where I'm at with it. So for all of you who don't know, I purchased a block of land next to my brother and sister-in-law. Um, so we're literally side by side. We're going to knock the gate. We're going to knock the wall down on the ground. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. We're going to knock the wall down and have one backyard. Like we're literally side by side. Um, didn't ask them if they wanted me there. I just bought it. It was so. our idea. It was definitely... It was definitely George's idea. Yeah, it was It was meant to be. But, um, so we've, we're currently renting the house that's on it out at the moment so that we have time, about six months, to do the, the plans and the design because we're knocking it down and doing a new build. And I'm basically building Santorini in Brisbane. It's going to be great. It's just, honestly, gorgeous. Yes, so it's very, like, inspired by all our travels and our heritage and... Um, it's just going to be a big white Mediterranean house. Haven. Yes. Haven, if you will. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start building in about five months, five, six months. And, um, we're, we're just in the design process. I'm working with, um, Bianca from BCG Build, um, Building Design and we're coming up with the perfect floor plan. And Yacht's been helping me a lot as well with George. And we're just trying to... Perfect it. Yeah. Really excited. Very excited. And we've been helping, because a lot of the questions I got was what are my favorite parts of our house? Um, so we've been like trying to incorporate elements that we've learned work and don't work for Dessa's house. Um, what works for our house is our pool is like probably the fa our favorite area. And I our, love your pool. And our living room like area and our couch. Oh, that couch. The couch, is, that couch is good. so good, but also it's causing some sleep issues because I pass out on it every night and then I have to so wake good. up and take myself to bed. Worth it. Um, but I would say like that living, main living area is my ma my favorite part. Me too. Of the house. I love, and I love your bedroom. <clears throat> Same. Feels like a little resort. Yeah. I'm putting all of my like resources into my main bedroom, like fucking off the rest of the house pretty much. And my main bedroom is going to be like heaven. Gonna have like its own headquarters. Can't wait. 
So guys, um, I know you all followed me through my weight loss journey and if you didn't, I lost 23 kilos since I've had my baby. Um, and it was very hard to lose. Uh, it took me like 10 months to completely lose it all through diet and exercise. So I got married and I obviously couldn't maintain six days of training a week with it was vigorous zero cheat meals in 10 months so i um since the wedding i've just been um choosing trying to choose the right foods not strict at all and with my um when i get transferred an embryo transfer i'm not allowed to exercise so my exercise has been like really up and down some weeks i'm training four days a week other weeks i'm not allowed to train at all so i'm just trying to eat semi-healthy I could eat healthier, but yeah, I do very, very well. Yeah, I'm trying really hard. Our next topic is health. We had a lot of varying questions, mm -hmm. um, mainly regarding um, migraines, endo, this is current hormone treatment, which we've already covered, and how our health issues affect work. So, do you want to start on your endo update? So since um, trying to have a baby, I've been on hormones that aggravate endometriosis. So I have had pain again um, and like heavy bleeding and stuff. It's not a good time over at my household, but it's all going to be worth it hopefully. So yeah, my endo is flaring. I had I have cysts growing every month again, and then luckily they're they're actually leaking, so they're emptying. It's really painful, but like luckily it just doesn't grow and grow like my other one did and then I lost my ovary. So I'm happy that they're leaking out. Um, yeah, that's my current endo status. Um, well, mine's currently obsolete because I'm pregnant, but mine was just the same as our last update. I had heavy periods and my period pain was returning, but nowhere near what it was before my um, laparoscopy and clean out, which was good. Um, and that's all I've got. A lot of people ask me if I was jealous or like angry or sad when Yon announced her pregnancy or told me she was pregnant. And t like people want to know tips on how I deal with how other people, um, how I deal with when other people mention or announce they're pregnant. And then I feel like, oh, wish that was me. Guys, like other people's happiness shouldn't take away from your own. You should be happy for other people. And I know sometimes you might feel like I wish that was me, but that shouldn't make you feel jealous or angry or anything. That should just, you know, give you inspiration or, or like how, I don't understand how people can. I think maybe they weren't it wrong. Cause I remember when George and I were trying for Connor, it was like two and a half years in that like last year, especially when you would hear like someone else just fell pregnant or that kind of thing it was more like a what's wrong with me or like kind of thing yeah but i've never feel jealous no it's like a jealous thing i think it's more like a but people wrote were yeah. you jealous no, no you definitely shouldn't feel jealous i also feel like I, I i sort of feel like um when people like fall pregnant so easily from trying like they just have sex and fall pregnant i have to go and get hormones oh. and then spread my legs to a doctor and have 10 scientists looking up my box it's really good time i sometimes do wish i could just you know go to bed and then wake up wake up and then be pregnant that would be great but that's not the case and i feel like it is what it is whatever um there's worse things in life and if you just focus on all the positives you will get there one day hopefully and yeah just don't just, I don't know. I don't think maybe like, like don't focus on it in a negative way, sort of. Yeah. For the other person as well. Yeah. Like, you should definitely. be happy for them. I don't know how to answer that question. Because you don't experience it. Yeah, because I don't. I don't. I don't think I have a jealous bone in my body, so I, I actually don't know. Very sorry. <laughs> sorry. Also, um, I mentioned already, my migraines have been um, more frequent this pregnancy than last so last time i only had migraines up until my morning sickness pretty much stopped with connor this time they're more frequent so i've been getting my usual treatment done which has definitely helped to bring them down but they're still happening which is unfortunate because i can't take any of my usual medication to like settle it um i can't do my normal exercising because it just seems to aggravate it but doing the best i can mm. um but when i'm Poor not bitch. pregnant um people were asking a lot of like what are 
prevention or maintenance things for migraines um honestly it literally depends on your trigger so my advice is to always um find out what your trigger is whether it's hormonal food muscular scar tissue um that will literally um like lead you down the path of how to maintain it if that makes sense and prevent it because like some people advise a certain hormone but that won't help me because mine's scar tissue so it all depends on your trigger so do that first that was great advice thank you You're welcome. um and that leads us into how do, do our health issues um migraines endo etc affect our work i think that we're at a place now where it doesn't like directly affect it i remember we used to come in like we'd come in here and have to sleep yeah <laughs> um i think because we've like delegated now a lot of our duties because we have kids it's sort of changed the dynamic a little yeah. bit so we can't afford to like take the time like the day off to recover heal yeah so but it definitely can like it definitely in a normal work workplace would affect you you just have to take like the day off to get better so you don't prolong the sickness yeah that would be our advice i remember that saying it previously she wishes she like was more attentive to her health earlier. Why don't we start with how we juggle with being um, mums and running Sabo? So for me, um, mum life and work life is a really good balance at the moment. So I'm at work four days full time a week. Zani's with her grandparents for three days and Giorgio takes off one day. So I've got four full days at work. I take off one day and then we've obviously got the weekend. So I feel like I'm I'm really good at the moment with my work mm -hmm. slash mom life. Mm -hmm. um, it's working really well and I'm, I actually really enjoy coming to work because it's time off and then I really look forward to going home to see Zani. So yeah, I'm loving it. Um, Connor is with his grandparents two days a week and then he comes into work two days a week. So obviously George is at work, so we're in a different situation. So George will kind of have him for one day in our nursery and I'll have the other. Um, and we take Fridays off too, so we can bond with our cousin, little baby cousin, Zani Kosaki. So, yeah, four days at work, but maybe three days full time. Um, but I'm lucky again in that I can do a lot of my jobs from home. So if I need to catch up, I'll do that once Connor's gone to bed for called power hour. And it just helps me to catch up on what I may have missed the day before. Um, but... You just really have to make sure you get a balance. Like obviously running a business is very different to just working mm -hmm. a normal job because you're constantly thinking about it. And I think you have to consciously make sure that you're present with your kid when you're with them so that you're not missing out on anything. Um, and just on that topic too, Connor's starting daycare in January, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> he keeps asking if he can go to school. Oh my god, how does he know what's I don't know, but I don't know, but I wonder how it'll be. I think it'll be great. I think he'll love it. I think you're gonna love all of the conjunctivitis that comes with it. Oh, that's really disgusting. So Zani and Connor got in at the same day here, but Zani's not starting until she turns two. So that'll be like in the middle of the year. But it'll be great. And they'll be in the same group. It'll be really cute. Oh my god, they're gonna be so cute. <laughs> Um, next question was what's happening in 2020 for Sabo and if we're opening any new stores We are planning on opening one next year. We'd love to hear Where you would like us to open a store in our comments below. Let us know. It can be in Australia or out of Australia Yep, we're very interested. Yeah, let us know um, And what's happening in 2020 a lot. We are finishing up this year with major changes changes um, in our runnings of the business and processes and that kind of thing a little overhaul um we're going to keep it all under wraps until it's ready to be exposed but we've got massive exciting changes for 2020 so the last topic is going to be about my tits <laughs> literally because <laughs> i put up a post um about a really cute play suit and i said can't wait to wear this after my breast reduction which by the way isn't for a couple of years because I want to have another baby and then get my breast reduction. But yeah, everyone's, I've gotten a lot of interest from my followers asking what led me to that decision and if I can share that journey as well. So 
Um, I've pretty much really wanted a breast reduction my whole life, well, since I've had boobs, which was from when I was 11. I actually went to a surgeon when I was 20 years old and he recommended that I have children and then go back because if you get a breast reduction, um, they just like fill up with milk when you have a baby, sag, and then all the work's undone. So I'm gonna have another baby and then get my breast reduction. Um, I'm currently a 10E and I wanna go to a 10C. Oh my God, that would be my ideal size. Too. Imagine when I'm a C cup and I need to wear a bra to bed. I have to wear a bra to bed because it gets caught under my arm and I stuff. I can't even imagine. <laughs> Is that the face vision? Like from a professor. Yeah, that's what happens to uh. me. No, it, it doesn't really, but it just makes me like feel bigger and my back is constant. Like, have you noticed in this whole video, I've been slouched like this because my boobs are weighing me. There's 10 kilos on Same. my chest. I've got no excuses. <laughs> It's just really bad for my posture and my back and my shoulders and they're huge and saggy now since having a baby. Well, not that saggy considering, but I mean, they're going to be super cute. They are. Really so, cute. yeah, I will show everyone that journey when, it, when I get to it. Now I can... <laughs> okay, so that's all we're doing for today. We have a lot more questions to answer, so we'll do that in a separate... Q&A uh, maybe in a month or two and give a new update, especially around Nurse's house update. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's all for today. We'll see you next time.